Up next on the Angler Channel Bass Wrap-Up Show, brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse. Right along with the winner of the Fish with Brian Thrift contest, we'll check in with the Bassmasters Carhartt College Series from Lake Hartwell. Plus, we'll cover the very first Alabama 100 Series event. And as always, we'll have the product spotlight from our friends at Strike King and Sportsman's Warehouse. It's straight ahead on the Angler's Channel Bass Wrap-Up Show. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Angler's Channel Bass Wrap-Up Show brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse. Let's get today's show started in Anderson, South Carolina at Green Pond Landing right there on Lake Hartwell. Hey guys, it's Michelle here with Blonde Girl Behind the Scenes. We are at Green Pond Landing at the beautiful Lake Hartwell for the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series. Top five teams going out today on the final day. Braden Perry and Aiden England with 18-11. Second place, Bradley Dugan and Sean Cooks with 18-6. Third place, Nate Lash and Will Shabig with 18-even. Fourth place, Ben Cully and Hayden Geddes with 17-13. And fifth place, Cade Fortenberry and Landon Bowden with 17-6. All right, we are here with Neil Paul, Executive Director of Visit Anderson. Neil, tell us a little bit about the tournaments happening today. Well, actually, we have two tournaments going on this weekend. So we have, of course, the Carhartt Bassmaster College Series here at Green Pond. And then we also have uh, the Crappy USA organization here for a, a super tournament that was actually yesterday and today, just like the, the uh, college event is. And so the opportunity to host 250 plus college boats you know, at a time when, you know, the local impact is significant, we didn't want to miss that opportunity. So we have two, two tournaments going on here at Green Pond at the same time, over 300 boats between the two events, and it's been a, a significant impact on our local economy this week. The Bassmaster College Series anglers are taking full force out there. 18 pounds came in yesterday. You expect the same today? Uh, I don't know. I, I thought, I told somebody this morning, I thought the bags would probably drop off. There is an 18 pound bag out there today. It just may not be the leaders that catch it. So somebody that's further back in the standings may use that opportunity to uh, push their way to the top. Your day number one leaders with 18 pounds and 11 ounces coming up from Carson Newman University, Braden Perry and Aiden England. You fall into 30 seconds. You have five in your bag. You need 14 pounds and 11 ounces to take over the lead. Looking for 14, 11. 14 pounds, nine ounces, gonna be just shy, but you are in second place with 33, four is your two day total. So it's gonna be a good finish for you guys. How'd you catch them? Uh, most of them were caught dropping, uh, like a Jamiki rig, you know, just fishing vertically. And uh, we caught most of them doing that yesterday. And other than that, we caught them on a wobble head. How are the conditions out there? Uh, yesterday they were perfect, couldn't ask for better conditions, but today uh, we got out there and the wind was whipping right on our hole, couldn't stay on it, hardly to drop on those fish and had to, uh, had, you know, scramble everything together and go get a new game plan and ended up with 14.9. Would have liked to have two more ounces, but what, what else can you ask for, Will you? That's true, and you did pretty, pretty good, finish. right? You're gonna, you're gonna get some points. Yeah, yeah. good points for team of the year, go to the championship, can't ask for much more other than the win, but you know, glad to be in this position. Five in the bag, 15-9 will put you in the lead. Looking for 15-9, 17 pounds, 13 ounces. And Carson Newman surges to the top. Let's talk about the fishing. You guys had the same weight today as you did yesterday. How'd you catch them? Uh, we caught them flipping a jig and on a chatterbait and a spinnerbait. All right, how are the conditions out there? Uh, you, today is so special to catch the same exact weight. Uh, we pretty much just adjusted. Yesterday, uh, it was obviously quite a bit warmer. Uh, today, we had a really cool morning, so uh, we flipped a jig uh, instead of you know fishing with that moving chatterbait uh, right off the bat. But uh, we adjusted, started flipping, and uh, it panned out. Um, later in the day, it got warmer, and uh, we went back to that chatterbait and made a few uh, key coals in the end. But uh, yeah, it was a good day. So there we have it guys, Carson Newman takes home first and third with Emmanuel in the middle. And that's a wrap up from Green Pond Landing. Blonde girl behind the scenes out. Thanks Michelle. Coming up, 
we head to Alabama's Lay Lake for the very first Alabama Bass Trails 100 Series event. And later, one lucky winner got to spend the day on the water with the infamous smoke on the water himself, Brian Thrift. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back. The English Channel Bass Wrap-Up Show, presented by Sportsman's Warehouse. This portion of our program is brought to you by Strike King Lose. Go ahead, tie one on by Ranger Boats, quality redefined, performance reimagined, and powered by Mercury. Do more of what you love on the water. From bass and walleye to crappie and the great outdoors, you deserve more than old school aluminum. Reward yourself with the quality, performance, and extra room in a Ranger aluminum design. Packed with features, these rigs carry an ultra smooth dry ride and stable platforms. Experience a Ranger aluminum boat today. It's built to excel and priced to be yours. Mercury, go boldly. Hey everyone, welcome back. Bladed jigs like the Strike King Thunder Cricket have become very popular tools in the angler's tackle boxes. Well, MLF, Strike King, Lose Pro, Andy Montgomery shows us his specially designed rod for throwing those baits in this week's Sportsman's Warehouse Product Spotlight. I had another thing that I'm excited about, something I wanted to do for a while, was design a bladed jig rod, a Thunder Cricket rod. Probably the hottest bait over the last 10 years, won so much money on the national tournament trails, local tournament trails. The Thunder Cricket, the bladed jig. I designed the rod for loose that is specifically designed for the bladed jig. Um, what makes a good bladed jig rod? All right, so the bladed jig or the Thunder Cricket is, is sometimes called halfway between a square bill and a spinner bait, right? For a square bill, we use a softer rod let that fish eat that bait, get the hooks in his mouth, and we catch him. Spinner bait, we use a little bit stiffer rod because it's got a bigger hook. So I wanted something in between. You know, I wanted something that the fish could really get the thunder cricket in their mouth and eat it good, but I had to have enough backbone to get this big hook through the fish's jaw. This is not treble hooks. Square bills, treble hooks, you don't need that stiff rod to get it through. So I tried to balance it out. I came up with what I call a 70-30 rod. So the last 30% of the rod is a lot of tip. See that? That's gonna allow that fish to eat that bait, get the bait in his, in his mouth good. But after that last 30% flexes, the 70% of backbone is gonna hit him. And that's how you're gonna drive that hook through. You know, one of the inherent problems with the bladed jig is the hookup ratio. We addressed a lot of those concerns with the Thunder Cricket, the way it's attached to the eye, the hook in it, getting the blade away from the hook, it's gonna increase your hookups. If you pair it with the right rod that has the right flex to allow the fish to get the bait good, but a lot of backbone to drive that hook home. If you get that hook in him, you're gonna get him almost all of the time. If you don't get the hook in him, that's the fish you lose when the hook only halfway goes in. So that's what I did. I tried to balance it out. A really soft rod that you would use for a square bill versus a stiffer rod you would use for a spinner bait. I came up with the perfect bladed jig rod. Team Lose Signature Series Bladed Jig Thunder Cricket Rod. 
The Alabama Bass Trail started a new series this year called the ABT 100 Series. Here's Program Director Kay Donaldson and host Robbie Floyd at the first of three ABT 100 Series events. It is a cold kickoff to the inaugural Alabama Bass Trail 100 presented by Phoenix Boats. Welcome to Lay Lake. Robbie Floyd, Kay Donaldson with the ABT. You're the program director. This is your show, and boy, what a show it is. The best of the best from the ABT, the Elite Series, the Bass Pro Tour, FLW, they're all here. They're all here, and you know, Alabama 100 stands for a couple of things. 100 boats is one of them, 100% payback, but $100,000 is what we will award here today, and that's pretty exciting. A lot of money's on the Line, but Lay Lake, it is cold. We had a lot of heavy rain earlier this week. It's not supposed to get out of the 30s today. You know, I think that's going to throw a lot of people uh, a curveball, and those guys who have a lot of experience on this lake could benefit from that. So it's going to be interesting to see when they come across the stage this afternoon. Well, typically on the Alabama Bass Trails, we say no matter the conditions, we know they're going to catch them. Well, here we've got more than just ABT anglers. we got the best in the world. Hooked up now to front. Shallow running crankbait, spotted bass, and I think something we're going to see a lot of today, the color of that crankbait has some chartreuse on it. That, I think that's going to be key today. Spotted bass in particular really like that chartreuse, but with the overcast that we're going to have today, I think we're going to see a lot of that. Hey, what that net man, boy, he got it going, don't you? <laughs> All right, so this is fish number four for you guys, right? Yes, sir. Number four. All right. How was practice for you? Uh, Wednesday was real good. Yesterday was better than the hotel room. <laughs> 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 and today we're just, this is what we found Wednesday, so we'll probably stay here all day long. Gotcha. We got a fish on here. A decent fish, looks like. <laughs> That's a, nice job. Five. What happened there, Clint? Sorry for the, <laughs> he, he ain't used to these nets, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> That's a good fish, Lance. Very good one. Yeah, so we got five pretty close to that side. Okay. So you figure five for what? 11, 12 pounds? 12 pounds. Okay. Now, one thing, Kenneth, about the ABT 100, it's not just regional guys. Right. It's pros involved as well. One pro, one amateur, so right. to speak. And one of the pros, this guy right here, he's won everything there is to win, and right. here he is fishing the ABT 100 right. event. Well, why not add another trophy to his case? Clint Davis, Jordan Lee, Matt Lee, Gerald Swindle. I mean, MLF, Pro Circuit, Elite Series guys, I mean, they're here. A lot of them are fishing in the back of the boat, which is pretty cool to see. Right. But it adds a whole new dynamic to this event. Oh, it definitely does. But it also it also shows the the, the level of fishermen that we have that, that fish ABT on, on a normal basis. These guys are teamed up with them and they're fishing against them. But they they also know that they better bring their A game because their competition is bringing their A game. Absolutely. We'll head back to Lay Lake and the Alabama 100 Series event right after this. Stay with us. The Anglers Channel Bass Wrap-Up Show, presented by Sportsman's Warehouse. This portion of our show is brought to you by Costa Sunglasses, designed with the angler in mind, by Mustad, hooked on fishing, by Trick Step, it's time to step up your game, and by Navionics, let us be your guide. I feel like ISOCHILL definitely allows me to stay on the water longer. When you talk about 14 hour days of practice on the water, that's a long time. And most people are gonna come up with an excuse to get off. And I don't feel like I get that same fatigue and a lot of that benefit comes from what I'm wearing. Sun protection, breathability, comfort, ISOCHILL, honestly, it just helps me be more competitive and stay on the water longer.
Let's get back to the Alabama Bass Trail 100 Series on Lay Lake. You get a limit, you're doing things that a lot of people couldn't do today. How did it go? Tough. Super tough. Let's find out what super tough is, because you're going to be our leader. Stephen Perry, Matt Tanaka, 11 and a half pounds, 11.54 to be exact. You got five bass. Looks like you got some good ones. Y'all had a good day today. Good job. Let's find out. They're trying to take the lead, and they're going to do it. Williams and Smith get kicked off. Collins and Hicks went 14.85, moving up that leaderboard almost. 15 pounds. You got five bass. I love seeing that. I love what you know I love even more than seeing that. John Collins and uh, Derek Hicks had 1485. Davis and Chapel, five bass for 1637. We finally got a 16 pound bag. We saw you in the water uh, kind of mid morning today, and you guys, I think, had two small fish. Tell us how your day went after that. We just kind of made a move, and it was a place that I found in practice, and we fish here a lot and just kind of know when to move and when not to move. It ain't, it ain't nothing special. It's just being, being able to fish here a bunch. Logan Johnson, Jeremy Christian, come on over here, guys. Uh oh you got your hands in your pockets. You're doing the wheezy walk. That, that tells me that you got some big bass. I have seen it before, and we are going to have a new leader. People thought it was going to take 18 to win. Right it now, it is going to take at least 18.70 to win. Logan Johnson, Jeremy Christian, 18.70. Well, Kay, it was a cold start to the year, but boy, how about Johnson and Christian? They started off hot. Two ABT regulars prove they have what it takes to beat the best of the best. You know, they've done it before, but this was a really big stage. And I mean, these guys are solid fishermen. They fish through college. They fish with us since we started. So. They actually held the record for the largest bass ever caught in an Alabama Bass Trail Tournament. It was 1036 at Pickwick Lake um, on a day about like today. So um, they, they're pretty good in cold weather. I want to bring them in. Uh, yeah, the cold weather doesn't seem to bother you at all, but uh, did you think 18 pounds would win it here today, or do you think it would take more? Well, first of all, the cold weather does bother us. <laughs> I've complained about it all day. Logan has not. He's not even wearing socks. But... Uh, uh, we kind of figured that would probably be around the weight that would win, but we didn't really think it would be us. But uh, but it, it's been taken about that, maybe a little less here in the local tournament. So we just kind of figured that would be, you know, a pretty good goal. And we really didn't think we had that much weight until we come in. We started taking them out of the live wells, and said, man, we might have a little bit more than we thought. Congratulations to Logan and Jeremy. Nice payday for sure. Stay up with all the action on the Alabama Bass Trail all year long right here at anglerschannel.com and the alabamabasstrail.org. Coming up after the break, we're on the water with the winner of the Sportsman's Warehouse Fish with Brian Thrift Contest. Stay with us. The Anglers Channel Bass Wrap-Up Show, presented by Sportsman's Warehouse. This portion sponsored by TH Marine, quality marine products, by Humminbird Minkota, making every cast count. By Visit Anderson, South Carolina's bright spots. And by Rely On Batteries. Jason first came to me with the fish with thrift sweepstakes. I was, you know, I was very excited about it because it's something that I wanted to be more involved with, and it's just a great way to publicize and just grow the sportsman's brand, the Brian Thrift brand, and to be able to combine it all together yeah. and get out on the water <laughs> and have fun. Now. You know, that, that's what it's all about. That's what Sportsman's Warehouse is all about. You know, it's, they don't say they're America's premier outfitter for no reason. You know, this is the reason they are America's premier outfitter.
Oh, this has just been unbelievable. Uh, I came down here, really didn't care if I got fish, but I wanted to see what I could learn from him, and I just found out how knowledgeable he is about uh, finding fish, and it's just been a blast for me just watching him uh, use his sonar and uh, uh, the techniques that he uses to catch these fish. It's, uh, it's not the kind of fishing that I'm used to doing, but it's been great. It's just a great experience, and like I said, I've learned so much. I've only fished a half day so far. So, so what have you learned today? Uh, just about the location of the fish and the structure and how, how Brian uses his, uh, his uh, sonar and his equipment uh, and uh, a little bit about presentation. I'm not used to bass fishing and he taught me that in a hurry about how to fish a jig and uh, when I saw him put that uh, worm on, what's that thing called Brian? Uh, Wacky worm. I didn't believe anyone would hit it, but I saw him catch fish on that. So I'm learning a lot about presentation and a lot about finding fish, and that's what it's all about. So this was something I was excited about because there's there's nothing like getting out there and being able to explain what you do to someone else that's very interested in it. And you know, I picked up immediately. George wanted to learn. He wants to learn the graphs, how to fish, you know, offshore structure, how to find fish all the different techniques that come along with bass fishing and that's another reason we chose Lake Norman is because it offers so much and we have had an absolute blast this morning and I'm looking forward to the rest of the trip. One just hit mine. He's all right. Yeah. Oh, Thanks for watching this week's Angler's Channel Bass Wrap-Up Show brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse. For updated tournament news, gear reviews, check out anglerschannel.com with the Angler's Channel Insider Podcast, Angler's Channel Extra Webcast. There's more information than you'll ever need in just one place. Be safe on the water. We'll see you next week.